Hi, it's Gordon at Averlight, and I'm going to take you through using the internal capture visualizer inside Titan. Here I have a show file, but I don't currently have any fixtures patched. So I'm going to go through the process of patching some fixtures. For my example, I'm going to use some Roby BMFLs. Now, at the point where you're selecting the fixture mode, you can see at the top of the screen, there is a little capture logo. This means that it has a virtual personality inside Titan, and you can use it in the internal visualizer. If you don't see this logo, you'll still be able to control those fixtures perfectly fine, but it will not appear in the internal visualizer. I'm gonna patch, uh, say 10 of these, and put them in my fixtures window. Holding down Able Lights and Exit, I'm gonna get completely out of the patch menu and back to where I was. Soft key F opens workspace window, and I can open up that capture visualizer. Now you can see that I have these 10 fixtures that I patched in this virtual space. At the moment, soft key G currently says wheels equal level. I want my wheels to work inside this visualizer. So I'm gonna press it a couple of times so that it says wheels equal visualizer. Next thing I need to do is tell the console that I wanna move the position of these lights. So I'm gonna tap position on my attribute bank. Here you can see I've got position X, position Y and position Z. So I can move these fixtures around this virtual space. The fan button as I've mentioned in a previous video, as soon as I press it, it will make a mathematical spread of whatever happens on my encoder wheels. So if I move, turn my fan button on and move my position X right now, you can see it's spreading out those fixtures. I'll go again from scratch with some new fixtures that I want on the floor this time. I'm gonna say patch, say fixtures, and I'm going to grab some pointies. Now, as soon as I've done that, they're going to appear in the internal visualizer. Now, my wheels still equal visualizer, and you can still see position X, position Y, and position Z on my encoder wheels. If I tap position again, I'm going to get orientation X, orientation Y, and orientation Z. This is where I can change the direction of where these lights are pointing. You can see if I locate them now, I'm actually moving the entire head around. So I can tilt them so that they're pointing up into the air. And I can bring them forwards and backwards and even angle them if I want. If I press position again, I'll get rotation X, rotation Y, and rotation Z. So that's useful if you need to move your heads into a different rotation. So move them 90 degrees from where the console has put them by default. Now, if I press fan again, I'll be able to spread my fixtures out. Soft key F of open workspace window, there's also a workspace window called Capture Visualizer Settings. This window enables us to move the camera around so we can get a better look at what we're doing. In the Appearance tab at the top, we can change how much ambient light we have in this virtual space. I can also change the smoke density, so how smoky it is in this internal visualizer. Can also change the smoke variation so if i want consistent smoke a lower number is going to be better or if i want some more realistic smoke a higher number is going to be better at the bottom of this appearance tab we've got rendering settings detail and this is where you can choose how detailed this render is rendering the internal visualizer uses a lot of graphics processing power so if you experience any slowdowns in your computer that you're using, then changing these might help. You can see there that if I put it on high detail, 
I haven't got any pixelation happening. If I put it on low detail, it's not worrying so much about making sure all of that detail is correct. With the cameras at the top, you've got a few default views as well. So I can view the stage from the top. I could then say I want to fan this position and you can see it's moving those heads around. Repeating this process and getting used to this process is the best way to start getting comfortable with using the internal visualizer. After you're finished with working in the internal visualizer, you can press soft key G and it will go back to wheels equal level. Now your wheels are going to work exactly as normal, controlling the level of anything that you have on your attribute bank. If you don't do this, then your wheels will still work inside this internal visualizer. So tapping it one more time, getting back to levels, means that you can now control your lights on your show. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.